What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're going to be talking about how to get over a thousand different new widgets on your Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, or S24 Ultra. Every year when I start making Galaxy tutorials when the new S phone comes out, people ask about the widgets that I have on my home screen, particularly this uh, day of the week widget right here, this date widget. And I use a tool called KWGT to create these widgets. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. Before we get started, I do wanna remind you guys, if you are interested in being a part of the channel community here and you know actually interacting with me on a daily basis to learn more about Samsung, there's a couple things you can do. You can subscribe to the channel, also sign up for our newsletter. And every Samsung launch, we do free mystery boxes where you get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop, phone stand, if you order through our affiliate link. Uh, the S24 boxes have closed, but we will be opening them up for the Fold 6, the Flip 6, in July or August when those come out and also next year for the S25. So sign up for the newsletter. I'll drop the link below. This is my alpha link. It's got all my videos and everything on there so you can follow me on all the socials as well. So obviously you probably know you can get a lot of different widgets on your Galaxy phone. You can get reminders, you can get the Google search bar, you can get notes, you can get photos. And a lot of these are just stock widgets, also weather. And the way you get most of these widgets is just by long pressing, going to widgets, and then you'll find the actual widgets in the list here. So like calendar, uh, one of my favorites that Samsung added last year with One UI 6.0 is the battery widget. Um, the battery widget here could be added in and you can have you know as many dice as you want. If you have a Galaxy Watch, they'll be on there. You got your S Pen, some other stuff. They also have the camera widgets, which shows different theme shots. You can actually add a transparent note widget at the top. All of these are stock type widgets. So you just long press, look through here, find what you want. There's a lot of stuff, widgets for almost every app that you have, even one for my car. You know, there's an audio widget where you can actually see how much your car is charged, how much gas you have in it, the range, mileage, whether or not it's unlocked, the location, all that kind of stuff. So really cool stuff there. But aside from the stock widgets, there are other widgets out there that you can get that have a much more aesthetic look to them and you can use them to theme your phone. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So to enable this type of widget here that I have, what I use is an app called KWGT, and I'll show you where it is here in the Play Store. I'll also drop a link below so you guys can check it out. If you search KWGT, it's called Custom Widget Pro. There's actually two different things that you need in order to do well, what I'm gonna show you today. First, you need the KWGT Custom Widget Maker. This is the main application here. Um, it is updated fairly often. This is last updated in November, but you know, they update it with some big updates fairly often. They also recently added the ability to add custom widgets to your watch, which I'm actually gonna cover in another video on the Galaxy Watch. Once you download this though, you also do need the Pro Key in order to install the premium packs that I'm gonna show you today. I actually forget how much the Pro version even is. There's usually some sales like $299 or $499. I don't remember, probably $299. I bought this so many years ago because I've been using it for probably, I don't know, when, forever since it started. I don't even know how long it's been. So it's been a while since I purchased it, but you do need that as well. And again, I'll drop the link below to that. So once you have that enabled, you can go ahead and open the KWGT app and I'll actually show you what that looks like. The pro key, you just, you know, once you open it, it gives you the access to the pro features. You'll see this page when you open the explore page. And so you'll have a couple things, explore, library, backups, you can back up your old widgets. And then here you're gonna see the current widget that you have on your home screen or any current widgets you have. Here you can see I only have one right now. Down here you'll see installed packs. You see I've got a bunch of them. A lot of my favorite icon packs, which I use icon packs from One Four Studio, one of my favorite developers. I also use his wallpapers, a lot of stuff. He and I are also good friends. Um, but at the end of the day, this One Four KWGT Reloaded pack is the one I'm using today. And essentially this is a premium pack you can buy that has widgets preloaded. Now you're probably saying, well, that's just another thing I have to buy. Well, there are free widgets inside KWGT. This is the base pack, but you can also create your own. So if you have the you know, artistic and technical ability, you can hit this button and you can actually create this from complete scratch. Edit the items, background, layer, globals, um, flow, shortcuts, touch. And I'll show you guys what some of those do here in just a second once I go into this widget, which is the one I currently have. Let me discard my changes. So let's go back to the main KWGT page. If you go up here, you can also import widgets from other people. So you don't necessarily have to pay if you don't want to. I just love this particular pack and people always ask about it. So I'm kind of showing you this example 
uh, with 1.4 KWGT reloaded. So if you want to see what's in that pack, I will drop the link below to this. It's also in the Play Store as well. I think it's a couple bucks. And you can see some of the beautiful ones in here. And I know people are going to ask. So we'll scroll down and find the one that I'm using because I always forget the name of it. People are always asking when I drop the link to this pack, what is the name of my specific one? You guys can kind of see all the ones that are here. And we'll find the link to the one I'm using. It's just a plain, you know, day of the week widget that has got a really unique font to it. But there's a lot of really good ones in here. You can see battery, you know, calendar, date, uh, device controls, music controls. There's a little bit of everything inside here. And this is the one I'm using, W007. That's the widget that I have right now. So if you download 1.4 KWGT Reloaded, you can actually go ahead, add to favorites, view pack, do all that stuff directly from the pack. So I'll drop the link below if you guys want to check it out. But once you actually choose a widget, the way you apply it is exactly the same as you would on any, any of the other ones that are out there. You just long press and then add widget. And then you'll go down here. Obviously, I already have one. Go to KWGT, choose the size that you want to add. And then once you choose the size, uh, either seven or eight, if you want to add the one I have in 1.4 KWGT Reloaded, you just choose that one from the pack and they'll add it right there. Now, once you've added it, you can go back and edit. You see here are the ones at the top that I have. And if you edit, there's a lot of things you can do. So again, this font that I have is either W007 or 008. I think it depends on whether or not you want the date below it. Mine has the day of the week and then the date. So you can edit what's in here. So what's shown, the text, what the background color is. You can actually change the color. So if you want to have a different color, different layers, the global variables. So whether it's a dark theme or a light theme, you can change the color of the text. You can even change the font style if you don't like the presets that were used by the developer of the pack that you bought. Um, flows, this is basically if you want to add additional triggers from tapping this. Shortcuts, since this is a day of the week and date calendar, goes right into the calendar or the clock. And uh, then how the touch is actually activated. So you can see like if I tap on this, it's going to take me directly into my calendar, which is kind of what you would expect for a day of the week uh, widget. So this actually enables you to get thousands of different widgets because there's hundreds of pre-made packs that you can get from the Play Store. There's also some free ones. If you just go in here and search for KWGT pack, then you can go in here and find some free ones. Not all of them cost, but to be honest, most of the good ones do. I mean, but you can see there's some that aren't, you know, don't cost money. Fusion is another good one that I really like. Uh, that's another pack that I use quite often. And like I said, some of the icon packs I use, like Vera icon pack, this one right here, which is Aries from One Four Studio, also come with their own KWGT widgets. You guys could probably see there if you scroll over, the one I'm using right now, all these Aries icon packs, they come with their own KWGT widgets. Not a lot of them, but a few premium ones in addition to the icon pack. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll drop the links below to KWGT, KWGT Pro, and a couple of the packs I mentioned here. It's a great way to customize your device. A lot of full tutorials on customizing your device further with icon packs and other things as well. Using Theme Park, subscribe to the channel if you want to check that out again. Also subscribe to the newsletter, all my other socials on my alpha link. I'll drop the link below. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.